Well, in the night itself, of course, I was really embarrassed because in all honesty, we have other questions the month that we're studying. And when I came to that moment, I was really <laughs> like you can see it in my eyes. I'm like, oh no, <laughs> you don't know the answer to this. Hi Pepsters! Welcome to another episode of Pep Exclusives. And today, mga kasama natin, isa sa mga kandidata ng Miss Universe Philippines, Miss Sandra Lemono, representing Tagig City. Hello! How are you? I'm so good. Ikaw, kamusta? Kamusta? Okay lang. Mayroon ako ng aso dito. She's super cute. Hi! He's so cute. What's his name? Is it a he? Bonnie, I'm babysitting her. Her? Yeah. Ayan, so kamustahan portion muna tayo. It's been six months since we're, uh, since we're not here sa quarantine. How was your quarantine experience? It's been a crazy six months. I've been sa Batangas for the first quarantine for the three months. So I was fortunate enough to be with my family, so I was so happy because when I came here, to Tagig, and when I came back, it was supposedly okay na. And then we went back to quarantine, and oh my god, ang hirap talaga sa condo. And it's so different because, of course, I'm not gonna be with my family anymore, so I was really having a hard time to balance getting a little bit of sun. I don't have a balcony, so I miss the sun. <laughs> Super hard, even just to go to groceries and hustle. <laughs> so that was a big challenge, but I mean, I took it day by day because that's all we can do, right? <laughs> yes. How much time activities na parang pagontri na yung mo during the past few months? Some naging chef panga ikaw ba? Did you try cooking as well? Yes. I mean, <laughs> I've always. Did meals at home, na man. So <laughs> it was not really new to make meals, but I really like the downtime to trying to connect with friends because you really have to put the effort. I'm not good at all sa social media, chaka um, messaging. So I'm trying my best to be better. So it was a big challenge, and I think I got really close with a lot of my deep friends and. We got really to bond, and it was very different because I like to see people sa personal. Yeah. So different dito kasi meron tayong box. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna reach out, and you can't really see them 100%. So that was a big challenge, but I tried my best to push myself out there and make sure to reach out because I know that it can be very isolating if you're just by yourself. And you're parang lonesome, you're missing your family, you're watching everyone, like, how is everyone? <laughs> and then so social media, then, you know, there's also a lot of people that are posting and you're like, oh my God, what's happening? Are they okay? And then you see, they're okay naman. activity <laughs> for yourself? Like, nag-yoga ka ba or anything? Yes. Um, actually, when I was in the first three months, we were doing almost every day like activities because we wanted to keep ourselves busy. So we would do either baking or we would paint a lot. My mom had a project for us to do in the table. Finally, we had the table made of bamboo and we had to paint the table. So it'd be a family table or what else did we do? We did yoga, but I loved yoga, but it was nice to do it with the whole family. Yeah. So let's talk about your, uh, no, you joining Miss Universe Philippines. It took you some time parang, to join another pageant since it was the last pageant. But a lot of in fairness, a lot of look forward to see you again on the stage. How does that That feel? makes me so happy to hear. <laughs> Um, it did take a while because I think everybody naman knows what happened. <laughs> so I needed some time to rest and uh, recharge. But at the same time, I was preparing. I'm preparing myself mentally to know that it's a big challenge that I'll be facing. 
So to my surprise, I didn't know that I would have more challenges ahead. <laughs> but we made, I'm so happy because in all honesty, promise, with this pandemic, I really thought that, oh my God, everything that I worked so hard for, it's not going to push through this year because, of course, there's so many things going around and we are in unsure times. So I'm just really happy because I still have the support of my family and my friends and that's the most important and the biggest gift that I've had this far. So it's so nice to see that even if I wasn't in the pageant community this long, I am so embraced and when I came back, parang family is waiting for you. So super blessed. And since you, we mentioned that you went viral for the build, build, build question, <laughs> diba? Before. So looking back, parang it's actually what you did was very relevant then now with, with, uh, with uh, social media influencers na parang uh, it's better not to say anything about a topic na you don't really know anything about, diba? That's true, what, that's true. what are your thoughts on, on that? Well, in the night itself, of course, I was really embarrassed because in all honesty, we have other questions that month that we're studying. And when I came to that moment, I was really <laughs> like you can see it in my eyes. I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> you don't know the answer to this. And of course, in pageantry, we have a way of dealing with questions, maybe to not answer it directly, maybe just yeah. giving, we call it the sandwich. But then you repeat the question, then you give your answer, and then you close it again with the opening statement. So I didn't want to do that because I didn't really know anything. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm especially honest. And I'm so happy that after, when I checked my phone the next day, I was really happy that it was not... Um, that bad of a reaction. Of course, I had um, negative comments, but in the end, I was more focused on the positive, and I was just so happy because I was so scared. It's it's really, parang in that moment, it feels like your life is over now. <laughs> but that really taught me that wow, like the the essence of who I am in difficult moments really did show. And I really like that because I didn't try to hide that away. So I was just, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, it's, it's good to say you don't know because yes. we are all learning and we're all learning and we're going to be forever students in life. And much better to just say you don't know and then go and study what that is. <laughs> and now, nag-expect ang mga tao na you've learned so much about syempre, social issues. Handa ka na ba sa mga ganyan topics sa maaring iba to for Q&A? I think so. I mean, I did have a little trauma for that for sure because I am already shy speaking in um, the public or being in a public arena. That's why I really wanted to join pageantry also because I want to overcome my fears. So, my message that I wanted to share with everyone is if you have something that you really want to strive for, but you're scared, just try to put yourself in that environment and maybe you will learn with all of the mistakes that you'll gather. And at the same time, people are going to look to you and be like, oh, it's okay. She also didn't made it that time. Parang you are tao lang eh. <laughs> so it's not unattainable. Parang that's what I really want to push forward. And of course, I've been trying my best to study everything that I can, but I am not perfect, nor will I know everything and what's happening in every moment. So I am prepared for what I know. And if there's something that will happen that I don't, then I will embrace it in the moment and do my best. But what are your thoughts naman on people na parang laging iniisip na beauty queens or... Uh, aspiring beauty queens na dapat perfect sila, dapat presentable palagi, they're always like this, like that, ganyan. Gan- ano yung pressure? How do you handle that pressure? Well, I'm a little rebel, so I might be working on different techniques on how to handle the pressure. And for me, that pressure is to just do myself. <laughs> Which is 
was really difficult because, of course, we have people in our circle or anywhere. You're going to put yourself out there. So, of course, people are going to give you feedback. And sometimes the feedback is not always um, constructive criticism. Mm. Sometimes it's really nasakit talaga <laughs> And sometimes it's not true. So, what I do is to... I think that's what I've been doing the past two years. I was mentally preparing myself to be more aligned with who I want to be, with who I want to show the world that I am. And that is exactly me, that I'm not perfect. And I want to be that type of beauty queen that shows that. And I think from 2018 until now, I am still very consistent in showing everyone that I have flaws, but I am trying my best to embrace them. Of course, not every single day I wake up and Okay na, I have a flaw, but I love myself. Hindi naman ganun. You have to take it because it's a challenge. It's very difficult to know what type of human you want to be, who you are, what you like. Those questions are really difficult questions. And sometimes we're so busy with all the superficial things, of yeah. course, that we have. And I think the pandemic really taught us to go back to basic, go back to the things that matter. And... I'm just really happy that that's really aligned with me. And I hope everyone can see that still. I also noticed na kasi for some candidates, candidates parang uh, English yung kailangan nilang i-improve. Ikaw naman, since English was your first language, Tagalog naman yung sayo. <laughs> and I noticed the improvement in fairness. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Salam. I'm trying to say... Um, I love languages, and I really wanted, since I was younger, to learn Tagalog. Unfortunately, I didn't have that chance. I was um, busy with other languages the month, and when I came here to Pinas, I really wanted to learn, but of course, I still didn't have the means to get a tutor or anything like that. So every time I'm with any friends that speak Tagalog, I'm trying to, oh, can you tell me what that means? What's that word? Okay, correct me here. Please let me know. I don't really... I'm not ashamed to ask what's that or not knowing because I rather learn. <laughs> so so I'm because self thought and I'm not very good at reading, but I'm learning this year. So that was a good thing <laughs> that the pandemic brought. But I'm reading what are the things in my sister's book because my sister speaks fluent Tagalog and she's been mm. um, learning here. So she's 15 by the way, <laughs> and she speaks way better than me. But so I'm saya ako kasi ang lalim ng Tagalog yeah. sa libro. And I'm like, what is that? I was like, whoa, that's very difficult, but I'm very happy. Yung Q&A, isa lang siya sa mga segment or isa lang siya sa mga part ng beauty pageant. So how did you prepare naman for your pasarela or for the other aspects of the Miss Universe Philippines? Well, before the pandemic, we were training. I was training um, in the studio. If I didn't have anyone that would be available, I would go by myself sa gym ko. I would walk, walk, and walk and wow. film myself. And then I send it to my trainer. I'm like, okay, is this okay? And then I send it to my friends. Okay, guys, what do you think? How is this turn? How is this emote? How is the aura? So, yun, so the walking training, I've been trying to do my best to see what are the best that suit me. Because, of course, everybody has their signature walk. Everybody has their signature look. And at the same time, their signature pose. And I want to change it up a bit. I want to show more of my fun side. But at the same time, to be elegant and queenly. <laughs> Yun. But so for now, now it's... Oh, sorry. <laughs> so now, meron ka ng signature walk and signature pose. Meron naman. Meron <laughs> I did. <laughs> yung mga abang na mga pageant fans. Yay! I'm excited. Sana, sana, I hope that everybody likes it. But I really, me, myself, I'm really proud of what we achieved. So, I'm excited to show it. <laughs> so, this year then, uh, Miss Universe candidates have an, an advocacy na they're pushing. Ikaw, what's your yeah. advocacy? Can you tell us more about your advocacy? Of course, of course. My advocacy is about mental health and it's very dear to my heart because I've always wanted to talk about something like this, but I was always scared. There's a stigma behind it and 
I don't want to, at the time, I was very ashamed about myself and all of the struggles that I've been through. And right now I was learning for the past two years. I said, you know, there's nothing to be ashamed of, of everything that happened. So I really wanted to share about my struggles. And I did post an Instagram where I put all of the sticky notes and wrote down like the harsh words that I've received, but at the same time in my description, I gave one of the stories, one of the challenging stories that I admitted that I was in an abusive, um, emotionally, um, how do you call it? In an abusive situation, emotionally and physically. And as much as I want to speak out, sometimes it's hard, so. It's just good that I was able to express myself and show myself. We actually filmed um, some videos not so long ago, just a week. And I shared a little bit more of my story of what I've been through because I had depression and I had to overcome it, but I didn't have therapy at that time. So I found how to cure or not cure them, I'm sorry, how to overcome, overcome. at that moment the depression, which I did a lot of art because I like drawing, I love to listen to music, and I go to that environment but I'm free up and I don't have to worry or be troubled. So I think art therapy was something that I chose that it was really dear to my heart. So you yeah, and mental health, speaking about it, um, trying to be as open and honest as possible if I'm going to um, shed a tear it's gonna be normal because we're gonna have triggers that they're gonna happen and sometimes I can't be always proper <laughs> as much as I try I can't <laughs> and I don't want to either so I just want to be real that's my biggest goal I want to see also other people to do the same because I think it's so isolating to hide all of our skeletons that closet you feel lonely mm. and i want people to connect that's the thing that i love the most is connection to people you get to know them you know their struggles and you're gonna be there for them if you really love them and respect them and that's the beautiful thing about human beings because they grow and evolve and you're never going to be the same after even just this short period of six months but i'm i feel like we're all new people <laughs> we're blossomed into something else and i really see the change that we're coming together we're speaking our voices we're helping each other and it's a really beautiful thing to see because that's really what we need your your advocacy is also very relevant right now since parang mental health issues are parang big topics on social media especially no start ng pandemic, tapos ngayon with the Manila Bay Sands na for mental health daw ng mga tao. Yeah. <laughs> and parang previously, meron ding nag-viral na parang self, ano ba yun? Self uh, diagnosis about uh, mental oh. health or depression on Facebook. Parang, what are your That's thoughts that. on that? I'm really happy that people are more aware. I'm happy that people are being more open to sharing that. And parang the stigma is still there, of course, but we're getting a step further. Maybe the kids are teaching the parents and the parents, or maybe they're also asking the kids. It's um, a more tight community than it was before. Because of course, I've had my own share of shaming and um, parang people didn't believe me because they see this persona that they think oh i don't think she would have this type of issues or she doesn't look like somebody that has depression anxiety or went through abuse or anything like that and that's the message nobody knows nobody knows all of our secrets nobody knows what's behind unless we are open to show it to people and if we get to be open and we get to that place then it would be so much easier for everybody to just embrace it and not be ashamed of it. And we can talk and heal together because that's the biggest thing that we should do. We should heal. Because <laughs> if you keep that, you're going to come back and you're going to accidentally give it to someone else. Even if you didn't want to do that, it will happen. So it's so I'm so happy that 
it's happening. People are asking questions. People are putting themselves out there to know what are they struggling with. So super so yeah. <laughs> And now we're only a few weeks away so, uh, uh, for before the big night, the grand coronation night happening yes. happening on October twenty five. Pero yes. pero din kayong series na ring light, tama ba? Can you tell us about that? And ano nga abangan namin sa yung ring light? Well, I'm really excited because. I was really, really scared. I, I didn't know if Miss Universe was going, Miss Universe Philippines was going to push through with everything that's happening. And when we heard that we had the Ring Light series, I was really happy because I'm like, okay, this is something amazing that we can share with people so they can be feeling excited. Because I will not hide it. So I'm sad that I will not see my lemonades. I'm not going to see any any fans. Even the girls, I don't get to see them because we have to be careful. We need to follow the protocol. And all of these things, I was really fearful that, oh, it's such a sad thing that we won't get to experience this. But with the Ring Light series, you get to see everything, all the behind the scenes that we film, even the struggling parts, all of the hardships that we had to face. I'm so happy that's going to be there and shown. So we're going to have even prelims there, which is mm -hmm. I'm excited for. I want to see even the first episode. So I'm excited about to see how everything's going to come out because we film us only. We don't really know what everyone else films. So when it's going to put together, I'm 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 going to be also like everyone else. But I'm, I'm like, what's what's going to look like? <laughs> and I want to see all of my other girls because that's. That's something that I really think it's important in pageantry to me is to get to know the ladies, get to know the other candidates, because in the end, you're going to make friends. And to me, that yeah. is so important to have that connection. And at the same time, who doesn't want to have like friends from all over the Philippines? That's True. great. <laughs> but then when you travel, hey, Bess, <laughs> can I go there? Yeah, I know where you go. Meron ka ng titerhan, no? Pag stay, and every time you go to any place in the Philippines. Yes. <laughs> and also, parang meron din kayong parang beneficiary for Ring Light, di ba? Yes. Yeah. And so, yours my beneficiary, I'm sorry. <laughs> my yeah. beneficiary, I chose one of my lemonades that's been helping me along this journey. Sorry lang, wait lang. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. She's crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's crying. She's good. They left the house. Okay, <laughs> anyways. Sorry. So, um, my beneficiary is my dear Lemonade. I wanted to choose someone that is close to me that I know that I can personally help. And he's been such a big supporter, a big ball of energy. And I just love that I can give back in a way. And to me, people that support you, your family, friends, whoever, they are the people that are gonna bring you to your destination. So I think it's a beautiful way to close that. I want them to feel that I also care and love them so much and I'm very grateful for them. So that's why I chose see Justin Alapitan. Anything to promote? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I actually, we actually have for Miss Universe Philippines they will be releasing some pictures that I really think a lot of people will be excited. So stay tuned for that. Um, I have an Instagram page about quotes about mental health. I did it because I've seen a lot of good feedback in my Instagram. I love posting anything that helps me. So I did this page. So if you would like to join or support or even just take a look, and maybe you find something that makes you smile or make you laugh. <laughs> and also I've been having some very dear and creative shoots that I've been planning for mm -hmm. and a video coming about my mental health and my journey. This yes. will be a keyword challenge. 
basically magsasabi lang kami ng keyword tapos sasabihin mo lang yung thoughts mo about it. So our yes, first yes, yes. keyword is women's health. Women's health. Wow. Well, I had this happen to me last year. I went to the doctors and I wanted to do just a normal checkup. And I realized that here in the Philippines, we have a big challenge ahead, which is healthcare. And that is something that at that time I didn't realize. And when I was in that situation, so I'm frustrated that because it was so expensive and at the same time it was so hard. And I've had the privilege naman to um, be in other countries and I didn't have the same experience. So I really would love if we could have that and be equal to other countries because it's time that we have to have good health care not just for women but for yeah. everyone and also but um also there's other things that i don't like but on the pink tax i don't know if you heard about that but mm. there's uh, you know for female hygiene and anything like that or female razors all of this to me is nonsense <laughs> i'm so mad about it every time i see or go to the supermarket and have this experience but I'm not trigger apple because I'm like why does this exist this should not exist we didn't ask to have all of this and it should be more accessible to us so that's my biggest thoughts about it and that this should be not of this time and age today that we should have accessible health care nice answer so second keyword that I <laughs> Leadership. Yes. Leadership. 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 Um, when I think of leadership, I think of people. I think of people that are that I look up to. And the first person that I look up to is Katrina Gray. I really look up to her because of everything that she accomplished and she faced so many challenges. And when I think about her, I also put myself and say, wow, if she can achieve it, I also want to be there and lead people. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to lead by example. I don't want to force anyone or tell anyone what to do or do this for mental health or try this. Maybe you, I am not a doctor. I'm not a therapist. I don't know. I'm just trying to do my best to lead by example with my own experience. And that's what I think a good leader is. They don't really tell you exactly you should do this because everybody has their own destination and path and story. So a good leader will guide them. They will not push them. They will just be there when they fall down, but also be there when they are victorious because that's the most important. You can't just be there when everything is good. You also have to be there when it's bad. And when everything is good, you should support because that's the biggest thing. And I'm really, sometimes I really get sad that not a lot of people are so happy for you. Parang, it's it's not a good, sorry. <laughs> yeah, sure. It's not a good habit. We should have a better habit in supporting one another and being happy. Even if you're not there yet, you should be happy because one day that will be you. And you would be so happy if somebody that you love or care for, even someone that's a stranger would be happy for you. Yeah. Next keyword, last keyword. <laughs> Basher. Yeah. <laughs> Our last keyword, bashers. Ooh, I like this keyword. <laughs> bashers. I had my fair share of bashers. I see you. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, but um, what I have to say to bashers is that if you don't have something nice to say, please do not hide behind your screens. Please do not come to people in front of their face or behind their backs and share your negative, unrealistic opinions. I don't think that is something we should tolerate anymore. I really take it serious because to some people, it can go to a point where there's no return. And I really don't want to take it lightly because it can start so small, but it can build up so big and so quickly. It's like a fire and actually like a forest fire. It starts so tiny and then you can't extinguish so easily. So the best thing that I would say to anyone that is 
in this position and they think that, oh, it's not ever going to reach them or they're never going to read this, please think again, think twice and put yourself in that their position or in their shoes. I don't think anyone should be um, in this environment of negativity. It's time to come together, be positive. And if you do have any constructive criticism, please message the person, please come to the person. If you really genuinely care, then you will make it a goal for them to know from you personally. Super nice answer. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank sana you. Ma, sana makarating talaga sa mga bashers ito no? at maintindihan talaga nila. No? Sana, sana. But we can only try. I'm actually trying my best to, if I see something that is very out of the line, I will actually comment and say to them nothing negative but i will just give them my honest opinion because it's it's not a place pageantry or even in real life that we shouldn't be fighting one another we are not the enemy we are actually the cure <laughs> we should come together because if we notice how strong we are how much value we have in life and we have the choice that's the thing that a lot of people don't realize in the end you are the one that chooses so you can choose to give positive energy because it's already negative now <laughs> for our final word siguro message na lang to your fans a message to my supporters okay I want to say thank you so much to every single person that's been with me in my journey since the beginning of my pageantry, since 2016, 2018, and 2020. I am so lucky to have honest and authentic people that are ready to do the extra step, do everything to be a positive light for me. And that really means so much to me. That's the biggest gift that I ever gotten in my life to have people that are so humble and yet they're going to do such amazing things. Like just this week, I went to do a photo shoot. I had to do a Natka shoot and we had to go all the way to Laguna. It was raining, then we had to shoot. And I had a friend that really did the most. It, he drove there, picked up, took the pictures, brought back the national costume. And that is crazy because not everybody's going to do that for you and to have someone that's going to give their time time is precious and that's just so magical to have connections and people like that so i really want to say thank you thank you also for joining us today good luck to your <laughs> you. uh Journey to the crown. Challenges. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Yan ang new normal natin ngayon. True, true. <laughs> also, if you want to promote your social media, you can, you can also sorry. promote your social your you can also promote your social media accounts if you want. Oh yay, thank you. Um please Follow me and Sandra Lemonon in Facebook or in Instagram. And also, please follow all of my other candidates. They have amazing stories, and I'm sure that they're going to come out with amazing content in the past and the next weeks. We actually have some pasabog, so stay tuned for that. And please go and subscribe to the Ring Light series if you can. You'll be a big help to not just us ladies, but also everybody that's involved because we have different charities in mind that we are supporting. So stay tuned for that. And I hope that you're all doing safe and that you're healthy. That's the most important. <laughs> Thank you so much, Sandra. Thank you. Oh, of yeah. course. Thank you.